हेलो क्रेजी गोडल्स वेलकम टू अ बिगिनर गेम डेवलपमेंट विथ पाइथन पाय गेम सीरीज एंड टुडे वी विल मेक अ डाई स्टिमुलेटर विच विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस एज यू कैन सी वी हैव अ स्क्रीन एंड वी हैव अ डाइज देर एंड वी हैव सम टेक्स्ट विच सीज प्रेस पेज बार टू रोलिंग and when i press space we see a rolling animation and in the end we see a die score and now we have scored a perfect 6 here 3 this time and 6 again 2 this time it's a random the most important thing is uh, we will use pi game here as you can see we have sound effects as well so it's going to be a fun project we will learn a lot of basic concepts required to build a game with pi game and also some logic building which is very important for programmers although pi game is not used to create high end games but it is wonderful for small games and beginner programmers to learn a lot of programming concepts so without further ado let's get started so i have opened my uh, pi chart. Um, IDE and uh, in my uh, dice roll uh, directory, I have created a Python file named main.py in which we will write a uh, code. But before starting, I will give a quick tour of our directory. Okay, so uh, our directory consists of three main folders, which is audio, font, and graphics. In the audio folder, we have our uh, two audios. and we have font here file which i will use to display the font and in the graphics section we have our background images and i will use this one in this uh, tutorial and we have two folders which is one is animation which contains all the different uh, types of roll stills when you you know displayed in a continuous fashion it creates animation kind of effects so that's why we have eight roll images also we have dice when it stops rolling we have all types of different values or images that a dice can have from the top now let's start coding but uh, you know to use pi game you have to install it and it's very simple you just have to open your terminal or you know command prompt and just type pip install pi game and since i have already installed it saying requirements already satisfied and in your case it might be different So do check out if you face any issues while installing my game then comment out the issue then we will surely get back to you with a solution okay now let's get started the first thing is we have to import our my game module and every time you will create a game with my game you have to call this init function which is like a constructor and just initialize in everything in the pi game so that you can use them and after that the first thing is i want create a screen and to create a screen here you just have to do pi game dot display dot set mode okay and here you have to pass size in my case i will pass 600 as width and 400 as height okay and after that i will create a infinite loop where our game will run in this i will add the logic of the exit okay if we add now we if we run this file then we will have the window but we will not be able to exit from that window okay so for that first of all i will actually import something which is from sys import exit okay this function will help us to exit our python program okay now i will actually have to get the event of the person wanting to exit the screen of pi game okay so for that uh, we can get events in this manner which is for event in pi game dot event dot get so in this way we will get so every event that pi game can store and from that we just have to check if event dot type is equal equal to pi game dot quit so now this will help us to know if the event that has occurred is what quit that is pi game dot quit and if that happens we just have to call pi game dot quit okay and after quitting the pi game what we have to do is we have to exit our python program as well now if i run this it will work so let's run this So as you can see, we have a Pi game window with almost six hundred width and four hundred height. And if we click it, 
then we have the screen gone so that's exactly what we wanted and we have executed that so now as you can see we can also update the name of the window which was earlier by game window and now what we can provide is from by game dot display dot set caption and here we can provide the title which is dice roll stimulate okay now let's run it again so yeah we have the updated title still have a blank screen yeah let's add the background adding uh, images in pygame is very simple you just have to load the image like this and you know you just have to provide a path here which is in our case it's located in the graphics so we can give it like this graphics okay let me increase the font a little bit yes so we have a graphics and in the graphics we have background to the uh, image we will use and png so you just have to provide the path i will just store this image this pygame game image into a variable background image okay and here we got the pygame game image we have load but to show it on the screen we have to do in our main loop we have to do screen dot blade which is block transfer and this will help us to make our image visible on the screen and we just have to provide our image and also the position uh, on which we want to display now here i am giving it 0 comma 0 uh, which i will explain in a bit but now if even if i run this now i will not be able to see the screen uh, see the background image on the screen because we haven't used the update method which is uh, by game dot display dot update okay now what this will do is it update the screen every time so that we can draw this image every time so now if i run this we'll able to see our display in the background okay now that's cool what is this 0 comma 0 now if i run this it's actually taking the image and storing it at the location 0 comma 0 which is x comma y is 0 comma 0 it is this but uh, in by game is and uh, most of the cases it's true that if we move to the x you have to do this plus and if you move to the right you have to do the y thing which is increasing the y so that is the part in the system and it will start at 0 comma 0 and it will move in x y direction x is this y is this okay that's simple now the second thing i want to do is i want to add you know font okay so now in font is also very simple first of all you have to get the font which i will store in this but how to get a font it's simple font dot font okay and now here we just have to provide the path and in font uh, we are uh, we want to use this so I'll just copy it and i'll just paste it here so from here we'll get the font but also we have to get the size of the font as well so how much size we want to it and now if you know roll message variable to store our font and to you know create a font here for create text we have to use our created font and the render function and here we have to provide three things first is we have to provide our text which is uh, i will use a space bar uh, to start rolling okay and that's great that's vs text and now again uh, we are asked to provide second parameter which is anti alias which we, i will explain in a bit and now the third is a color which i will be providing in rgb and uh, you can just copy paste it it's just a color of you know skinish so i will just do this okay, this is the color now again to display it on the uh, screen you just have to do screen dot blade and in this you just have to pass roll message and then here actually you have to also pass the location where you want to store it so now here i will pass 50 comma 300 so from x it will be like 50 and from y it will be 300 now let's just run it okay we have our text from this like 50 from x and 300 from y and yeah it says press 
press space bar to start rolling that's great but what this uh, second parameter doing is if for example as you can see their edges are very smooth now but if i keep it false and then run again what happens is the edges are not smooth anymore so that's what it basically is it makes it just asks us do you want it to be a smooth edges which is not case in the pixel art games but in our case we, it's just a text and we want it smooth okay that's great now we have added our screen and we have created the screen we have added the background image we have added the role message which is how to start the game but now according to our role message we have to do the pressing the space bar to start rolling so okay but how how to get that if user has passed press the space bar or not so for that it's very easy in my game we get something called uh, we get all the keys that are pressed from by game itself from using this comma by game dot key dot get pressed okay and it shows all the keys that can be pressed and it you know if I just print this you will get an idea of what it has so now I'll just run this file and you can see it has false 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 and if I press something it that particular key value will be true okay so that's great now to get if our space is pressed or not so that's very simple as well we can access that but first of all let's store this key all these keys pressed in a key and now if i want to know if a uh, space is pressed or not we just have to check the key uh, key space okay so we have this key space okay now if we pass key space in the brackets we will get this key has pressed or not so this will give us false or true and like uh, if i just print this uh, and run it so as you can see we have all false but now i will press the space bar as you can see we have some truths as well okay it's getting what is what we wanted okay now i'll just remove the print statement and i will just uh, put this into any statement which is if this key is pressed we want to roll right and else i will keep us for me so if the key is pressed we want to roll else what we want to do is uh, we want basically uh, if the key is pressed we want to start rolling okay yes and if key is not pressed either we are you know showing uh, rolling images rolling animation animation images or I uh, will show the dice show the dice which contains a number okay so this two things we're going to do and we'll just use like if uh, i will create and the variable which will be is rolling and in the starting i will just keep it false so what will happen is if key is pressed we will start rolling we'll make this true uh, and in else part what is check we're checking if is rolling is true okay so now if is rolling true then we show animated images and if else if it's not rolling uh, and key is also not pressed so what we will show, show the dice and well, yeah of course i mean if key is pressed then we also want to check one other thing eh? if uh, is rolling is uh, is false okay so if key is pressed and it's not rolling start rolling, okay and if it's uh, rolling then we have to show the images to get the rolling image effects and if it's not rolling and uh, uh, then we have to show the number okay that's great and so for we will achieve this we'll try to code this in the next video thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next